Up in the sky, is it a bird, is it a plane, is it yet another video on the road to Suplex City? Yes. Yes it is. What's going on, YouTube? It's your trailblazing, eyebrow raising, villain defeating, evil beaten. The man that tries to never be rude, you know that's right, it's Super Dude. What's going on, YouTube? It's very early in the morning. Uh, at least where I'm at. Let's see. Let's see if I can find an actual... Yeah, it's about 9... 9.30 almost. And... I have to record this video this early for one reason and for one reason only. It is very... Uh... Rare that my tablet decides to hold a charge, so I have to record whenever I can... Um, while it's, while it maintains its little bitty charge that it has. So, by the title of this video, you can see what we're talking about, but before I get into that, uh, before I get into the reason this is a, another video on the road to Suplex City, uh, first and foremost, I would like to welcome you back to the Fortress of Broitude. Uh, as always, located outside Angel Grove, on with the off-ramp on Rep to Suplex City, and we are currently building a highway to Viperville, that's a thing, with plans to put in the Smackdown Hotel soon, um, among, among other wrestling-related buildings. Um... Uh, before I get into talking about, <coughs> excuse me, before I get into talking about what I wanted to talk about, uh, I have a quick shout out, number one, uh, to a video for, a, to a video's channel, not a video, just, not just a video, but to a channel by a friend of mine named Frank Forrester, I believe, uh, pardon me, Mr. Forrester, if I am pronouncing your name wrong, but Frank Forrester. He is positively the most popular pop procurer on the planet, bringing you punctual vids of populous, pleasing, powerful positivity. Lots of peas. Um, Mr. Frank is a pop channel. He, take, he takes all things Funko Pop, uh, big, small, little, tall, everything. Uh, and that's... For pops, that's the channel to go to if that's if you're if that's what you're interested in. Um, he does a he does a, just a there's just a ton of pop videos. Uh, go check out his channel as always. If I can figure out how, I will leave a link down yonder to Mr. Frank's channel. But let's get into the m the meat and potatoes of what we're here to talk about. As you know, I'm highly excited for WWE 2K17. Um, it is the the one game I look forward to every year. Some people have Call of Duty. Some people have I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, the Call of Duty series, your or whatever local shooter game, excuse me, comes out that year. Uh, for me, it's the wrestling games and. This year is proving to be just as necessary to be excited about as last year's game was. Uh, but for many, many reasons, as you know, the um, I'm excited with a lot of things that this game is doing. The, the pre-order bonus is an actual wrestler, not blow-off, blow-hard Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, the cover star is Brock Lesnar, a guy that I enjoy watching. Uh... Brock Lesnar is the mighty beast, the founder of Suplex City, the nightmare of Suplex City. Um, the NXT edition, the special edition, is based around NXT, which is incredible, which I have one of 50,000 copies. But one of the more exciting parts of any wrestling game is, of course, the roster. And we know some members of the roster. We know that John Cena, Ultimate Warrior. Let me see. Um, John Cena, Ultimate Warrior, and Sasha Banks were announced via a painting. 
We know that Goldberg will be in it because he has the pre-order bonus. We also know that... Brock Lesnar is going to be in it because he is the cover star. Duh. But the following information is uh, does two things. One, it announces three more characters that are in the game. And two, you'll see. But before I get into that again, I have a couple of channels to mention. Uh, and these are the channels that my news comes from so I feel obligated to plug these channels on here <clears throat> uh, the first channel is the 101 then there is it's my yard that is the second channel and the smack talks channel all three of those uh, are where I get a lot of my news updates from for the two, WWE 2k17 now, the news that came out, let's get to it. I, I know I'm, I'm stalling. The news that came out, Stephanie McMahon sent out a tweet that said, It's a family affair. Catch at Vince McMahon, at Shane McMahon, and I in WWE 2K17. Check out IGN or at IGN for roster reveal info. Basically, she sent out a tweet with three renders, one of her, her father, and her brother Shane, all in their suits, modern-day Shane, not like the one who came back to put a damper on Stephanie's parade, and one of the the commissioner of SmackDown Live. There's a brand split plug for you, and that's the show that I'm behind, is SmackDown Live. But it also... Uh, gave us some insight as to what they're going to be doing with the roster reveal. The roster reveal was officially announced about what they're going to be doing with the roster reveal, and this year they are calling it the Suplex City Census. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a census is, um, why? Census is a fairly obvious word, but for those of you who don't know what a census is, that's when a uh, town, city, ville, burg, whatever, takes count of all the people within that place and that's what they're doing with this the suplex city census five weeks of roster reveals which means every tuesday starting this coming tuesday because i'm recording this on a wednesday um at 6 a.m pacific time they will be revealing uh roster characters we don't know how many at a time um, one, one video that I watched, one source that I watched said 25, uh, now that'd be 25, 25, 5, that's 125 superstars, and we're assuming now that these are all main roster stars, these are all main roster ads, excuse me, is what we're assuming. Now, if that is the case, that would be incredible. Um, I think last year we got 20, or bef the year before, one of those two years, we got 20 each each week. Um, and they've done this before, where they've announced uh, roster members week to week. Uh, and of course, as always, I will be bringing you roster videos, like my thoughts on who they announced that week. Um, we'll call them Roster Talk Tuesday. Uh, I don't know, something catchy. But... Um, an interesting side note, there have been rumblings uh, after the tweet by Stephanie McMahon that showed her currently and current Shane wondering if that was confirmation that the brand split would be happening in WWE 2K17, and my opinion on that is no. Um, another channel to plug if you want to further into this topic, Tony Pizza Guy. Again, I'm going to try to link all of them into the description, but uh, he has the same thoughts that I've got, and my thoughts are that no, probably not. Um, with these games, they tend to lock in the rosters around a specific pay per view. I believe it's the Royal Rumble, it may be WrestleMania. 
um, uh, they, they decide, all right, this is who we're putting in, this is how we're going to do it, and sorry uh, for, those, for those characters or those wrestlers you want that didn't make it. Now, would it be cool if they did the brand split? Of course, because then you could do my career with the brand split, and you could be drafted from NXT just randomly. You could be the NXT champion one night and be on SmackDown or Raw the next. The stuff they could... I mean, they could definitely do that in the future. For maybe 2K18, that'd be something to see. Um, and something if I'm sure they would do if we all asked asked for it. So get on Twitter, hashtag brand split 2K18. Um... But, as for it being in 2K17, I don't see the brand split happening. I just see he- them. I-, I just see that this is them capitalizing on Shane's popular right, right about now. Let's throw in the fact that me, Vince, and Shane are all in 2K17. Uh, and th- that's when we'll announce the roster. Uh, because people have been uh, constantly on Twitter asking about the roster and when that was going to be revealed and that whole sort of thing. And they... They finally gave us some light. So starting Tuesday, we're going to be getting our roster for this game. And you guys know that's something I've been excited to see because I'm still hoping that Becky Lynch makes it. I'm still hoping that American Alpha makes it overall over any character. Uh, I'm fairly confident Joe's going to make it. Uh, I I would want to see Scott Hall and or Razor Ramon make the game. That'd be sweet. Like that guy. Another out of nowhere pick, I would say, would be Rhino. I would want to see Rhino added. Possibly Austin Aries. Who knows? Who knows what they're going to do DLC wise? I just hope American Alpha aren't DLC. I hope they're main roster. That is my hope. That is my wish for this game is that you get American Alpha day one when you pay when you buy this game. But that is my up. Uh, that is my news covering of this it's not a lot of news but it's it's fixing to lead into a lot of news now another question going around is do uh, i've been asked this is do i believe there's going to be anything more than a than a hey look at these guys in the game like uh for example do i think there's going to be entrance videos or gameplay i'd say probably not not yet, at least. I don't think they're going to put intros and stuff like that or entrance videos or whatever into this roster reveal. They might. It'd be cool if they did, but I don't see it happening. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. A quick note before I leave. Uh, if you're new, like, like this video and subscribe. Uh, if you... Like this news comment about uh, who you'd want to see on the roster. Um, also, quick side note: I am thinking about doing another video, another series of videos, talking about uh, Greek mythology, the different stories, the different characters, and um, just sort of going over those, and just just to bring something sort of different to the channel. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, me talking about Greek mythology, like the story behind Hades, and why he's my favorite of the Greek pantheon, um, the Greek punishments, different stuff, maybe a top fives, stuff like that. So leave your comments if you want to see me do that. But as always, you guys have been super friends. I've been Super Dude from the Fortress of Broitude, i.e. located outside of Angel Grove, adjacent to Metropolis, with the off-ramp on-ramp to Suplex City, currently building the, the highway to Viperville and a SmackDown Hotel over yonder. And until next time, guys, this is going to be great coming up. First Roster Talk Tuesday next week. Until then, up, up, and away.